What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 50 minute arms and abs workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get to work. All right guys, I'm excited that you're here for this 50 minute workout. We are doing upper body, arms, and abs. We're gonna hit the biceps, triceps, chest, back, and shoulders in your upper body. As you can see, I've got a wide range of dumbbells here. Um, we're working on progressive overload today. So in progressive overload, you either increase the speed at which you do a rep, the weight at which you do a rep, or the amount of reps that you do. We're definitely gonna be increasing the time that you're working, so the reps will increase, but we're also going to work on increasing the weight each time that you do it. Okay, so first round, we're gonna work for 30 seconds. I'm gonna use my heaviest weight. Next round, we're gonna work for 45 seconds. I'm gonna move down to my medium weight. And then the last round, we're gonna work for 60 seconds straight. I'm gonna use the lighter weight. If you don't have those options, if you have maybe just one or two dumbbells, you're just gonna work on increasing the speed at which you do your reps and try not to stop for those longer work periods. Okay, so in some way, increase the reps or increase the weight in the, no, increase the reps or the speed as we go into that longer work time, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. It'll make sense once we start going, but if you have a heavy set of dumbbells, grab those down to a medium set and we'll be good to go. Okay, we'll start the uh, warm up here. Three, two, one with arm swings over your chest. Good. Let's work on the back and the chest here. So reach way out forward, open nice and wide. So first round, we're gonna work for 30 seconds of every exercise. Okay, we're gonna use the heaviest weight that you have. We'll have 30 seconds rest, backwards arm circles. So I'm gonna be using 20s, 15s, and 8s for my weights. Okay, the 30 second round, I'm gonna try and stick with the heavier ones. 45 second round, might need to move down to the medium. And then that 60 minute round, is the goal is just to keep moving for that whole 60 minutes. Switch direction, or 60 seconds, I should say. <laughs> We've got seven upper body exercises and seven ab exercises. All right, come on back to the back of your mat. Let's go inchworm hip drops. So walk it out, inchworm position. Hips down, tuck it in, push back up, and walk back in. All right, inchworm it out. Let's go four of these total. Drop the hips down so you're stretching out your abs. And then pull it back up. Good job, two more. Drop it down. Lift your gaze up to the ceiling. Walk it back in, let's go one more. Getting the shoulders warmed up here. Your range of motion throughout that whole rotation of the inchworm, dropping your hips and then coming back in. All right, so stay here on this one. Push your hips back, swing side to side. We're gonna be doing a little core work, so we'll have to have a little hip opening in this warm up here today. Great job, three, two, one. Now I want you to inchworm it back out and swing your left leg up in front, right beside your left hand. Okay, we're gonna stretch out the hip flexors just a little bit. So let's push back and forth. In that lunge position, make sure in the front leg your heel is down, it's glued to the floor. That back leg is propelling you up and back just to open up that hip. Three, two, one. Swing your left leg back and let's switch over to the right leg. All right, right leg out front. Use that back left leg to push you up and back. And take your time on this one, there's no rush. Okay, I'd rather you just open up your hip, focus on dropping it down. Great job. Gonna be doing some leg raises, some leg lifts, so it'll be a lot of lower ab and hip flexor as well. Three, two, one, and swing your leg back. Let's walk it back up and do some shoulder arches. Okay, so nice wide stance, you're gonna lean over and over. There we go. All right, so in about 20 seconds, we're gonna start together with a 30 second round of seven exercises, okay? 
30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest in which you can stay moving and I'm gonna demo your next movement, okay? So our very first movement, if you wanna grab your dumbbells, 30 seconds of alternating tricep kickbacks, okay? You're gonna bend forward at the waist, nice tight abs, your weight is in your heels, you're gonna glue your elbows to your ribs, okay? Left and right, one at a time, you're gonna extend fully, okay? So in five seconds, let's go together, left, right, left, right, okay? Two, one, elbows at the ribs, let's push. Your goal is to get your arms straight back. It's 30 seconds, so take your time, go heavy. Great work. There we go. Nine, eight, seven. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Now stay right here. We're going to move up to 45 seconds of that movement, okay? Stay moving if you want to, but make sure you're getting the weight ready to go up to 45 seconds of work. Okay, we're going to knock all three rounds of this movement out, and then we're done with it, and then we're moving down. Okay, so 15 seconds. I'm gonna stay with my 15s, my medium weight for this round. And then for my 60 second round, I'm gonna drop it all the way down and just crank it out, okay? Four seconds, let's go. We're gonna work for 45 seconds this time. Two, one, let's go. Now I'd rather you have really great form and go a little bit heavier than normal then rush through with a ton of speed and disregard your form. Okay, back is flat, your spine is neutral. You're looking just about a couple feet out in front of your toes. Okay, so you're not craning your neck like this. Great job. Got about 10 seconds left here. Push, try to get that pinky up to the ceiling, right? All the way back. I'm gonna get a rest in your triceps here very soon. And rest, good. Okay, 15 seconds rest, so not a lot of time. Drop down to that lightest weight. We're going for 60 seconds straight. Whew. All right, check them out. Get ready, two, one, let's bend. Elbows are here, push and push. Now I don't want you swinging back up at the top like this. Okay, I want you stopping at 90 degrees and extending again. Keep the elbows up. There's a difference between going with a momentum motion and executing just a full on contraction in your tricep. Squeeze it high, control it back down. 30 seconds, you can do this. It's your lightest weight, it's your longest work period. So in terms of progressive overload today, we've hit two out of the three options in this uh, timed interval increase. So you're definitely increasing the speed at which you do your reps and you're increasing the amount of reps that you do because you have more time to do them, right? Good job, four, three, two, one. Amazing, okay, Whew. 30 seconds rest. We're going into a bent over row. Okay, so we're gonna start with that 30 second round. Let you get the movement. Okay, I'm gonna go with my 20s. Go with your heaviest option. You're gonna bend forward at the waist just like you did in your tricep. Uh, kickbacks, you're gonna row right and left, alternating each arm, okay? Five seconds, you can do this. We're working for 30 in three, two, one. Here we go. Row and row. Don't open your chest up, just drive your elbow nice and high. Breathe deep, let's go. Six, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, next round, we're working for 45 seconds. So your speed can increase a little bit, your reps will also increase, so keep that in mind. Okay, five seconds, Whew. big deep breath. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Good job. There 
here we go. And you can return, sometimes I'll touch my dumbbells right to the front of my thighs, just so I know that they're not swinging. I know that my hips are setting back. 15 seconds. Drive, drive, drive. There you go. Nice and high with those elbows. Keep your chest down. Great job. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. Whew. All right. 15 more seconds here. We're gonna go for one minute. Okay, big deep breath. That's it. All right, 60 seconds. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. Forward bend. Dumbbells are hanging down in front of your chest, so make sure you're not here trying to row. Okay, you're bent forward. Knees are slightly bent, so make sure your legs are not straight. This one is not gonna be your heaviest weight, but you're gonna get the most reps in of all three rounds. Your speed will increase because your weight has decreased. And I want you to keep that form tight. Do not let your back arch here, okay? Don't let your chest fall here with a leg straight. Okay, keep a nice balanced athletic stance for me. Good, keep rocking. 15 seconds, row, row. Left and right, you're doing great. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew, okay, okay. <laughs> there we go, good job. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds rest here. Grab some water. We're moving down to whew, lateral bent arm raises. Okay, some of these you can't do with your heaviest set. I have a 20 pound, I definitely can't extend it fully out to my side, so just go with the heaviest set that you can control for these 30 second rounds. All right. All right, so the arms are gonna be bent on these lateral raises, and we're gonna keep the alternating form, okay? So, arms are here at your sides. You're lifting left and right, keeping that arm straight out, okay? 30 seconds of work, two, one, let's go. And remember to keep your spine straight. Okay, so not here, All right? Chin, belly button, everything is neutral. There's a little bend in your knees so you can make sure that you're not leaning, leaning. Good job. Five seconds, keep rocking for me. Three, Two, one, great job. Whew. All right, 30 seconds rest. Jog it out for a second. Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna stay with that same weight for myself. Judge what you can complete for 45 seconds, what weight allows you to go that whole time. All right, I'm trying to keep my heart rate up here. You got about 12 seconds. Okay, round two of lateral raises. Go ahead and grab your dumbbell, bent arm, I'm gonna stay here, you can go down if you need to. 45 seconds, ready, let's go. Right and left. Now this bilateral training, taking one arm at a time, is really great for your core stabilization as well. Also, sometimes identifies muscular imbalances. If one arm is a whole lot harder than the other one, you definitely have an imbalance, and most people have some sort of an imbalance to a certain extent. Right, so taking one set at a time helps you focus on the execution of that rep for that arm only, for that leg only. <sighs> 10 more seconds, we can do this. Elbow is nice and high, lift, lift, lift. Four, three, two, last rep, rest. Good, 15 seconds and we're going for that 60 second round. Take your lightest set of dumbbells. Let's go in eight seconds. Whew. So we're gonna complete all these arm exercises, and then we're gonna finish out with your uh, ab exercises. 60 seconds, ready, let's go. Up, down, up, down. I want you to take it at a pace that you can control. <sighs> lift, lift, and try to, on this 60 second round, the weight is light, so try and make sure as soon as you get down with that other elbow, the other one kicks out. <sighs> nice strong wrists. Okay, so you'll notice here, my wrist is straight out, it is not here. Okay, 
30 more seconds. Keep them straight out from your elbow. Lift and lift. Good job. Sometimes I like to find the beat of the music and stay with it. 18, 17, 16. Good job, guys. We've got 10, 9, 8. That's it. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. Good job. Whew. 30 seconds rest. You can grab some water if you need to. We are three exercises down in our seven arm exercises. Okay? We're going down to a bicep curl next. So I'll take the focus off of your shoulders for a second. Head down to the biceps. Okay? Alternating bicep curl, left and right. So pick a weight you want to use. 30 seconds of work. I'm going to go with the 20s. Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Make sure you're not leaning back, popping these dumbbells. Keep your core tight, keep your legs slightly bent. Do not move your chest. Look up, going straight ahead with those eyes. Okay, there you go. Feel that muscle shortening. It's pulling your elbow into a bent position. You've got six seconds, you can do this. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, 15 seconds and we're going into 45 seconds of work. I'm gonna challenge myself to stay with this heavy set, okay? It's bicep curls, try and stay with me. Okay, 45 seconds of work in three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Now you'll notice at the bottom there's a slight pause here, right? For me to switch arms. That's me assuring that I'm not using momentum from dropping one of my dumbbells to get to the other one. Okay, so give it a little pause. Keep the dumbbells in front of your legs so there's always a little bit of contraction to start the rep. There you go. Meaning you can't swing up into the start of your rep. You really just have to squeeze the bicep. Whew. Seven seconds, come on. If it goes slow, it's still moving. Keep rolling. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right. 15 seconds, I'm gonna drop down for the 60 second round. Okay, hopefully you guys have the, the theme down by now, right? Two, one, 60 seconds, let's go. Left and right, curl. And the same thing here with your lateral raises, I want you to keep your wrist nice and strong. So if they start going here, the weight may be too heavy for you. Okay, or just focus on keeping those wrists straight up and not what I call broken wrists, right? Same thing with a kettlebell. If you're doing any, any type of kettlebell work, the objective is to keep that nice, strong, straight up position with your hand. Good, 60 seconds. If you need to take your fingers, wiggle them out for a second, you can. Try not to be squeezing the crap out of your dumbbell. Just lift it. Think about lifting with your palms. Good job, good job. Give me 20 more seconds, okay? We can do this. 20 seconds and then we're resting. Seven, six, three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds rest, guys, great job. Try to give you enough rest in between each one. Okay, this next move we're gonna do in 20 seconds together is gonna be alternating front raises. Okay, so you're going straight out to the front. Yes, your arms feel like jello, like me. Woo! <sighs> okay, eight seconds. I know they're burning, I know they're hot right now. We've got 30 seconds of work. Okay, one arm at a time, going straight out to the front. Two, one, let's go together. Left, down, right, down. Just come to eye level and control it down. Do not let it swing past your leg. Okay? So if I'm here, I'm not going here. I'm stopping right beside my thigh. That lets me know that you control the rep up and you control it down. The eccentric and the concentric. Good job. Two, 
one, rest. Okay, drop it down. If you can stay there for your 45 second round, stay there, okay? Stretch your forearms out if you need to. Whew. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. 45 second round, here we go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Think of the muscle that you're targeting, right? Do not swing. And if you need to take a little shimmy break, you can. Let's go, we've got this. You're getting stronger today. There's nothing better than a nice rounded shoulder, right? I think muscles look beautiful on girls. They look amazing on guys. So don't be afraid to build that toned muscle, okay? As women, there's this big conception of, oh, we're gonna get bulky if we lift heavy. Guys, I lift heavy all the time. It does not work like that. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds rest, and we're going for that 60 second round. Okay, as women, our hormones do not produce the right amount of testosterone to get that bulky physique, okay? If you eat a very different way than a natural, like normal clean eating diet, ready, let's go, I'll keep talking. Okay, if you eat a different way where you figure out how to manipulate your proteins and your carbs, and you lift a very different way than what we do here on the channel with very heavy, minimum amount of reps or very high reps with low weight, you can achieve a bulky figure. It is possible, but the way we lift here and the way we lift normally on this channel is not gonna get you bulky. Do not be afraid of heavy weights, okay? It takes a very strategic plan to get that bulk. All right, so lift some heavy weights. That's what's gonna get you toned. That'll get that nice, long, lean muscle. 15 seconds, we've got it. There you go. We're gonna hit the triceps next. There you go, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, 30 seconds rest. All that to say, I can get very passionate about women and being afraid of lifting heavy weights, being afraid of getting into that free weight section of the gym. Oh, it breaks my heart when I see women just stay on the cardio all the time. Don't be afraid of the heavy weights, okay? And your heavy weight does not mean it's everyone's heavy weight, okay? So picking up a five pounder that's for, or someone that's new in lifting is still great, okay? Just don't be afraid to lift a little heavier, okay? 30 seconds, we're going up overhead, tricep extension, okay? Three, two, one, and let's bend. Keep the elbows tight. In lift. Okay, I'm going with my 20 pound dumbbell here. Just one dumbbell. And your muscles need to learn to adapt also. So if you're doing all body weight exercises, your muscles will get used to that and they will stop changing for you. They'll stop developing unless you continue to challenge them in a new way. So don't be afraid to lift heavy. Don't be afraid to push yourself to right where it's uncomfortable right where you make that ugly lifting face, right? You're like, Ugh. It's still fun, right? <laughs> Rest. Everyone has that face where they're like, ooh. And I could tell it was working pretty hard there. <laughs> Mine is the Elvis lip. Remember me telling you guys about that? My lip will start to go, when I start to lift really heavy. <laughs> okay, 45 second round. Two, one, let's go. I think you guys said I wasn't the only one who did that. When you start to lift so heavy that your lip starts to lift. It's fun to lift heavy. It pushes you, it challenges you. It, me, for me, it gives me more confidence, okay, to know that I can do it. I always say fitness applies to real life. Seeing yourself lift heavy things helps me to realize, okay, this is heavy and it was hard, but I did it. And things like that in real life happen as well. Right, there's heavy hitting parts of life that are gonna try and knock you down. They're hard, but you can get through it. Two, one, rest. Okay, we've got a 60 second round of tricep extensions, and then we've got one more arm exercise, then we're moving on to our abs, okay? Here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. 60 seconds. Up and down. You don't necessarily have to go fast on this one. I know your arms are tired. It's gonna be a lighter weight. Just make sure you don't stop. 
Your resting point can be that overhead position, that full contracted level. Okay, just keep rocking. Down and up. That's it, 30 seconds left. Woo. Big deep breath, you can do this. We've got it, we're in it together. Bend, push, and for those of you who want nice toned arms, these tricep exercises are great for that. I'm trying to talk myself out of the pain right now. Woo! There are three main muscles in the back of your arm and your triceps, so it takes up the majority of the muscle tone in your upper arm. All right, if you're looking for a nice sculpted arm, two, one, rest. Definitely don't neglect the triceps. Okay guys, very last arm exercise, the 30 second round, the 45 second round, and the 60 round, just straight up alternating shoulder press. That already feels heavy, okay. <laughs> 15 seconds, we're gonna go together. Grab water if you need it, and this is the last arm exercise. All right, I'm gonna go with the 20s. In three, two, one, let's lift. Right and left. You don't have to go fast here. Keep your spine straight. Keep your abs pulled in. And keep a little bend in your knees so that the lower back doesn't round. 15 seconds, let's go. Up, down, up, down. Keep pushing. 10, nine, eight, don't stop yet. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo. Okay, 15 seconds. Let's drop it down one, 45 second round in eight seconds, okay? You can do this. I know all you wanna do is just hold your arms right here. We can do it, guys, here we go. 45 seconds, two, one, let's rock. Breathe through your reps. You have to know how to breathe to get these heavy reps in. Exhale as you push. Good job, lift up, palms to the ceiling. Think, raise the roof, right? 20 seconds. Good, 15, 14, 13, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, I know, come on, come on. Come on, don't stop yet. Four, three, go all the way, two, one, rest. Okay, good job. 15 seconds rest, grab those lightest weights and I want you to pump these, re uh, these reps out for 60 seconds. <sighs> Big deep breath, shake it out. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, one, keep this beat with me. Let's go, left, right, left, right. Don't stop, left, right, left, right. <sighs> good, good, keep punching, let's go. Last uh, 40 seconds of arm work here. And then we're moving all to abs, okay? Don't stop, let's go. 30, 29, 28, 27. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's go. 24, 23, 22, 21. I don't know if that sounds optimistic or not. It's too high in the reps. <laughs> let's go, 15, 14, 13, don't let the back arch. Keep it tight. Up, up, eight seconds. Give me seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we are done with your arms, guys. Great job. Whew. All right, I want you to lay your dumbbells down at the end of your mat, just about hips width apart. Okay, 20 seconds, you can go ahead and lay it down. I'm gonna go down to this end so I don't Hit my feet on the other dumbbells. Oh, be careful when you sit down. Your arms might give out on you. <laughs> okay, in eight seconds, we're gonna lay it back onto your back, hands under your tailbone. You're gonna go in and out, in and out. Okay, go ahead and join me for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. In, out. So you're going up and over, inside, outside. Inside, outside, good. 15, 14, 13. Good job, keep it up. You got six, five, four, three, 
two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. Man, we did some good work on those arms. Whew. I'll give you a really good stretch down at the end, don't worry. Okay, 45 second round of that same exercise. In two, one, let's go. In, out, in, out. And take your time here. Just make sure that your lower back is flat. Okay, if you need to modify, step in, step out, or take it nice and high. Go in and wide, in and wide. Okay, if you need to modify, that option is there for you. Good, 20 seconds. Inside, outside. In, out, in, out. Four, three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. We're going for 60 seconds, guys. Okay, if you need to, don't worry about touching the ground. You can keep it up higher if you need to modify. Ooh, anyone else's arms still on fire? Yikes! Here we go, two, one, 60 seconds of this move and you're done with it. Together and apart. Together, apart. Now if it bothers you to touch your heels on the ground, don't do it. Keep it higher, together and open. Together and open, okay, wherever you are. Keep rocking with me. Constantly be thinking, how can I pull my belly button down to the ground? Okay, tilt your hips backwards. Together. That's it. Thirty seconds, guys. Whew, I'm right here with you. I know it burns. I know we can do it though. There you go, there you go. 20 seconds. Whew, work those lower abs, let's go. Open, close, open, close. Great job, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Whew, amazing job. All right, you're gonna take your dumbbell, one of them, scoop one of them out of the way. This one's gonna be a sit up with a turn. Okay, so you're keeping the dumbbell right at your chest with your elbows out nice and wide. 30 seconds to start with. Okay, when you come up on that sit up, I don't want you to come to the middle, I want you to come elbow outside of your opposite knee. Okay, and keep alternating right and left. Two, one, big deep exhale, let's go. Twist, down. Twist, down. And if you can use a heavier dumbbell than that light one that you just used, do it. But I want you to keep in mind your dumbbell needs to stay on your chest, okay? Physical contact with your chest. So I don't want you swinging here and then turning. It stays here and you twist. Chest, twist. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna grab a quick drink. <sighs> 45 second round coming up here. In three, two, one, let's go. Down, twist. Good work. Whew. You guys hear me okay? I know sometimes I have my mic on the left side of my sports bra, so sometimes if I turn away from it, look to the right, See how it's kind of harder to hear me? So that happens sometimes. Hopefully you guys can understand. Can't be perfect, but we're trying to get as close to it as we can with the sound for you, because I know how important that is. 15 seconds. Good, keep it up. Four, three, two, one, rest. We've got 15 seconds rest here. We're going for a 60 second round. Anyone else's arms shaking when they do this? Whew. I will give you a really good stretch and in the days following this workout, continue to stretch your arms. Two, one, 60 seconds, let's work. Good, sit up and immediately turn. So I don't want you coming to the middle and then twisting, right? 
I want you coming up to the left and then twist over as you come up to that side. Good job. Keep breathing, exhale on your way up. You guys doing all right? We're gonna make it, I promise. 30 more seconds, here we go. That's it, that's it, keep rocking with me. 20 seconds. That's it, come on. Last 10 seconds, let's go. Twist, down, twist, and down. Four, three, one more sit up, two, one. Great job, 15 seconds rest. Whew. We're down to exercise number 10. Out of 14, you're gonna stay here. All right, dumbbell in your hands, toe touches. So legs are straight up. If you need to modify, bend them. Okay, and we're crunching. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds up first. So I want you to reach high, squeeze up there at the top for as long as you can, and then release. 15 seconds. Good job. That's it. Four, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. If you need to drop the dumbbell, you can do it now. Okay, I want you to hold it on that 30 second round. But if you need to drop the dumbbell, do it now. We're going together in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up, down. One, two. One, two. Exhale as you reach up at the top. Okay, when you get up there, exhale. It'll give you a chance to really squeeze your abs. Great job, 20 seconds left. Don't swing that dumbbell behind your head either. I want it right over your chest and then up. Seven, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Amazing, you've got 15 seconds rest and we're going for one minute. We can do it. I want you really getting up there. Exhale, squeeze just a little bit harder. If you need to drop your dumbbell for this one, that's okay. Three, two, one, let's go. Try and see if you can hold at the top for two seconds. One, two. One, two. That's it. Close your eyes. You've got 30 seconds. Get into your own zone. Right, you're getting better. You feel your abs getting stronger. You feel yourself breathing as you lift. Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Exhale on the way up. You've got 12 seconds. Show me what you got, come on. Up and down. Almost done with toe touches. You got four, three, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Amazing job. Whew. All righty, grab water if you need it. If you can manage to open your water bottle with the noodle arms that we have right now. <laughs> Workouts like these will really change the game for you in terms of results, right? Pushing just outside of what you normally do, pushing just outside of your normal weight maybe, as far as what you use, or pushing right outside of the normal speed that you work at. Things that change the tempo or change the time under tension or change the way that your muscle contracts, that's when it gets, that is what is gonna get you those results, okay? All right, I want you to grip Overhead, your dumbbells are up behind you. Okay, I want you to lay right in front of them. You're gonna lift your hips up off the ground, holding onto those dumbbells so you've got a little leverage. 
In four, you're gonna join me, lift, and come back down. Okay, two, one, let's go. If you're at home, you can put your hands under a couch, hold on to a coffee table. If you're at the gym, you can find a bench, or grab some dumbbells, or just go onto a rig. Whatever it is, hold on to something over your head without swinging your legs much at all. Lift your hips off the ground. Five seconds and you're done with this 30 second round. Two, one, rest. Good, so what I do not want out of you, and I try to keep technique as important as possible in these workouts, what I don't want is you going here. Whoop, okay? I want you to keep your heels as much over your hips as you can. Two, one, let's lift. Think of driving your heels up to the ceiling. And if you can get that full extension, do it. But just don't swing your legs way up over your head. Another important aspect to consider is the control on the way down. Just as important as on the way up. That's it. Good, give me 10 more seconds. Come on, come on, we can do it. Six, five, three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. Woo! Youch! We've got one more round. We're going for that 60 second round in seven seconds. All right, we can do this. Hold on up top. Pull that lower belly up to the sky. Three, two, one, let's lift. Up. Down, up, down, and consider the speed that you're descending in. <sighs> up slow, up slow on the way down. <sighs> That's it. And you're gonna pull, and then at the top you're gonna think about how high can I get my hips, right? The more you can pull that lower belly into your spine, the higher you'll be able to get your hips. Good job. Okay, give me 30 more seconds of this one, and you're done with it. Down, up high. Down, up high. Great job. 20. I know this one is tough, but I know you can do it. Come on. Push harder. Let's go. 13, 12, 11. Don't let your legs swing. 8, 7, 6. Five. Give me two more. Up and down. Up slow on the way down. And the rest. You've got 30 seconds rest. Woo! Okay. You guys doing all right? All right. That next ab exercise is going to be a bicycle. We've got bicycles and then we've got heel taps. So we are very close. Okay, come on down with me. Bicycles, in three, in two, in one, and let's go. Cross, cross, 30 seconds of work here. Great job, work on extending your legs all the way out. And then turning your chest all the way over so you're not here. Okay, you're open and you're open. Nine, six, Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Stay right here, good job. Hold, good deep breath in seven seconds. We're gonna go again. Three, two, hands beside your ears. Let's go, twist, twist, 45 seconds here. So we're going to 6.30 if you're looking at the clock we're going to six minutes and 30 seconds. Good, 30 seconds to go. Great job, twist, twist all the way open. Come on, I know it burns, breathe. 13. Come on, come on, Woo, seven, six, 
five, three, two, one. Oh, rest for 15 seconds. Ha, ah, breathe. Sometimes, if I'm telling you guys, come on, come on, it's actually me telling myself, come on, Sydney. Okay, I'm just as real and as in this workout and as feeling the burn as you are. One minute, here we go, two, one, let's go. 60 seconds, do not stop. Even if you have to go a little higher with your legs and keep them up at a 45 degree angle, that's cool. Just keep rotating that chest. Your torso twisting is like the main, of, well I shouldn't say is like the main objective. It is the main objective. Think of yourself like wringing out a washcloth. Okay, you're twisting, twisting, twisting. Good job. 15 seconds. Stay with me, twist, twist, twist. Seven, six, three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Great job, guys. In 10 seconds, you're gonna stay right here on the ground, keeping your heels at 90 degrees, okay? Knees are bent, heels stay right there. You're gonna sit up, tap your heels if you can. If not, tap your shins. Ready? 30 seconds, let's go. Try on this first 30 second round to keep your fingertips over your chest. So you're not reaching back and swinging yet. 15, 14, 13, 10, 9, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. 15 seconds rest. We're going for that 45 second round. These are our last two rounds. 45 seconds, rest. 60 seconds, cool down. That's it, okay? We can do this. Two, one, let's go. Reach down, reach down. And if you need a little uh, modification or a little assistance, grab a dumbbell, reach a little farther overhead and swing up with yourself. Okay, 30 seconds. We're going to 3.30. If you're watching the clock on the bottom right corner of your screen. Up, down, up. Good job, 15, 14, 13. Keep it up. Good job, seven. Three. Two, one, rest. Okay, take 15 seconds. Mentally, prepare yourself for one minute of work. Promise yourself you're not gonna quit, you're not gonna give up. We're gonna finish strong together because I'm not gonna stop, you're not gonna stop, okay? We can do this. Legs up, two, one, let's work for 60 seconds. Your last minute of the day. I'm gonna be quiet, let you zone out, let you motivate yourself for a couple minutes, let you get connected with all this work that you're putting in. What is driving you today? <sighs> 30 seconds. Don't stop. Think about your why. Think about getting stronger. Think about finishing on top. Let's go. Push, push. You're almost there. You got 15 seconds. Do not stop. Seven seconds. Let's go. Up, down, up, down. Three, two, one. And we have made it. Woo! I want you to stay down here on the ground with me and flip over on your stomach. We're gonna cool it down, but before you head out, make sure First of all, make sure you cool down. This is very important. But make sure you subscribe before you head out if you can't stick around for the cool down. All right, we have this growing community that's turning into something truly beautiful because it's changing lives and that's what matters to me. All right, I wanna be able to leave an impact on lives around the world and that's why I started this YouTube 
um, channel because I wanted to be able to impact people not only in Charlotte, North Carolina, and not only, go ahead and push your hips back over your calves, not only in West Virginia and my hometown and where I'm from and where I went to college and where we live now in Charlotte, but people that I've never even met, right, that can benefit from this passion that I have for fitness and for being healthy and for just treating your body well. And I know I have the energy to get it out there. All right, if you can help me share it, that would be so amazing. Posting an Instagram story, posting on your page, sharing it with a friend on Facebook, sharing it in general, sending it to your coworkers in an email chain, whatever you can do to help me spread the word, I very, very genuinely appreciate that. Okay, come on up. We're just gonna roll through some arm swings backwards first. Coming up tomorrow, we have a 60 minute workout. So if you're getting up early to do the workout, make sure you set your alarm for a 60 minute workout, okay? You will need some dumbbells, okay? Won't be as heavy as today, but it'll be a 60 minute workout. And let's switch directions and go forwards. Make sure you continue to stretch your arms, guys. I know they're gonna be tired, they're gonna be stiff, they're gonna be sore. One of the best things I've found is to find a doorway. Put your arms on the back of the doorway and lean through. Okay, that's gonna stretch your chest, your anterior deltoid, and your bicep. And then on the reverse, put your hands on the back side of that door and just kinda of lean away, kinda of cat back it away. Okay, as the clock rolls down to zero, thank you so much for being here. Make sure, of course, that you grab your apparel. It is 50% off right now, and we just restocked our apparel as of last night, so that should be here in a couple weeks, but we have some really great uh, apparel on the website at royalchange.fit. The link is in the description below, along with the link to everything that I use here on the channel. Dumbbells, mats, water bottles. Um, I use an Apple Watch Series 3, for those of you who are asking about how do I track my calories. And big deep breath, reach up. Think about how proud yourself of yourself you are. <laughs> Your arms are shaking, I'm right there with you. Two positive thoughts about yourself right now. Ready? 10 seconds to think about two positive thoughts. Great job, keep those in your mind all day. Don't forget them. You are so valuable and you should be so proud of yourself today. We got stronger, we did it together with this community. So comment below, as your personal trainer, this is my way to hold you accountable. I'm here to motivate you and I'm here to hold you accountable. Every single day I post a workout and I want you to comment below. If you crushed this one, tell me you crushed it. If your arms are shaking like a wet noodle, let me know, mine are too, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Before you head out, if you wanna hit a little bit of leg workout before you go, head right here. I'm gonna put a butt and glutes, work, or a leg and glutes workout, an ab workout right here if you need a little bit more of that, and don't forget to click subscribe. Help me continue to grow and help the world, guys, be more fit and more active. I love you so much, I'll see you later, bye!